had been really searching for a long time. I, I grew up, um, God's creation always testified to me, and I always believed in God. And I had never heard the gospel growing up. And so I began to ask questions of people that I worked with, my friends, um, what they believed about God. And nothing was ringing true with me. And so eventually got a tract into my hand through an unbeliever, actually. And when I saw that um, Jesus was the way that I could get close to God, I immediately knew that Jesus was the one that I had been looking for. And so I prayed and received Christ. Um, and that was about six months before Jerry and I got married. I always wanted to be a bomb. That was my biggest um, goal in life. That was my heart's desire. And so Jerry and I, a couple years after we were married, um, started trying to have children. And nothing happened for a long time. And as a new believer, I really wrestled with that, um, why God wouldn't allow that to happen. But I stayed in His Word and studying the names of God and learning who He is was a huge encouragement to me. And so that ended up lasting for nine years. We, we struggled with infertility. Somewhere in those nine years, we started pursuing adoption. And God had really impressed on our hearts that it would be a reflection of Him adopting us into His family. So I left my job um, to take care of my grandmother. And a couple months after that, Jerry's um, company that he had been with for 13 years um, was doing some cutbacks. So at that time, um, he took the severance package and started looking for another job. And um, so here we were <laughs> pursuing adoption and neither of us were working at this time. And I was leading a Bible study on Philippians and I got to Philippians 4.4 4, where it says, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. And I knew in my mind what he was calling me to do, but my heart wasn't there because I had wanted to be a mom for nine years. And Jerry had been out of work for nine months. But as I began to reflect on who he is, he's able and he is mighty and he is just and he is kind and he is good and he is faithful. And so I knew no matter what he had for our future, that I could trust him. On June 2nd, 2003, Jerry got a call that he had gotten a job. And on that same day, we got a call that Brennan's birth mother had picked us to be his parents. And he was born on June 12th, 2003, 10 days after we got that call. And God had blessed abundantly after that long time of waiting on him and it was worth the wait um, being brennan's mom is an amazing blessing seeing god's faithfulness in my life um, since coming to know him has taught me that i may not always feel like life is fair or that he's with me or that um, and sometimes i don't understand what he's doing but i can trust in who he is I can trust in His Word. I can trust in His truth, no matter what my circumstances are. Um, our circumstances change. Sometimes they're hard. Sometimes um, life is great. But regardless of our circumstances, God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And He is a good God. He's a loving God. And He's a faithful God. My name is Demi Adams, and I believe in Jesus because He is real.